Originally, this story was prepared for UPI News by Louis Castles. The Christmas story of a God born in a man escapes many moderns because they try to find complex answers to their complex questions. This is utterly simple. So, to the skeptics, we offer a modern parable. There was once a kind, decent, and mostly good man. The man that I'm talking about was not a Scrooge. He was generous to his family and upright in his dealings with other people. He just did not believe in all that incarnation stuff that the churches proclaim at Christmas time. And he couldn't pretend otherwise. He just couldn't swallow the Jesus story about God coming to earth as a man, that a man could have God in him. One year he said to his wife, I'm truly sorry to distress you, but I'm not going to church with you on Christmas Eve. And so he stayed home while his family went to the evening service. As they drove away in the car, the snow began to fall. The flurries got heavier and heavier. He went to the window to watch them as they drove away and to watch the snow as it started to collect on the ground. He finally went back to his fireside chair and began to read his newspaper. Minutes later, he was startled by a loud thudding sound, and then another, and then another. He thought to himself, well, someone must be throwing snowballs against my living room window. When he investigated, he found a flock of birds huddled miserably in the snow. They had been caught in the storm, and in a desperate search for shelter, they had tried to fly through his large picture window. He just couldn't let the poor creatures lie there and freeze, so he went outside and found them flopping around in the snow. He remembered a certain area that would be of help to them, an area that would help them to live through this Christmas Eve night. The area was the barn where his children kept their pony. It would provide a warm shelter if only he could direct the birds to it. Well, the man quickly put on his coat and his galoshes, and he trampled through the evening snow to the barn. He opened the doors, opened them wide, and turned on the lights inside. But the birds wouldn't fly into the barn. The man thought food might entice them, so he hurried back to the house, got something for the birds to eat, making a trail through the door inside the barn. But the birds didn't pay any attention to the breadcrumbs any more than they paid attention to the well-lit, warm, wide opening of the barn. To his dismay, the birds ignored the breadcrumbs and continued to flop helplessly in the snow. He tried to catch them. He tried to shoo them into the barn by walking around, waving his arms. But instead, they scattered in every direction except into the warm, lighted barn. It was then that he realized, they're afraid of me. 
as he thought, he reasoned, to them I must be a strange and a terrifying creature, if there were only some way that I could let them know that they could trust me, that I'm not trying to harm them, only to help them. But how can I convince these birds? Everything I do frightens and confuses them. They wouldn't follow. They wouldn't be led. They wouldn't be shooed or chased into the barn because they feared him. As he stood there in the cold snow falling all around him, the thought came to him, if only I could be a bird, and then I could go with them and speak their language. I could tell them, don't be afraid. I could show them the way to the warm, safe barn. But I'd have to be a bird. I'd have to be one of them so that they would understand. At that moment, church bells began to ring in the distance. The sound reached his ears above the sound of the wind. And he stood there, listening to the bells, actually feeling the glad tidings of Christmas for the first time. He sank to his knees in the snow as the birds flew into the barn. Jesus was born into a world that trembled with fear of a distant God, a society of people who would not even speak God's name out of fear of death. Jesus Christ was born to bring this message. There is a light and a warmth waiting for you in God. The way is open wide for you to enter therein to a full, abundant life. This is all because 2,000 years ago, a soul prepared for eons of time became incarnate in the body of a babe. Today, around the world, congregations will light the fifth Advent candle placed in the middle of the Advent wreath. This represents the birth of Christ. All candles are lit today, representing hope, peace, love, joy, and now, the birth of Jesus. It is a time to celebrate and to remember the reason for the season. From my home and my family to your home and your family, this is Christopher Ian Chenoweth, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas.